folks, welcome to CodeCraps. This is Mahesh Gyani, and in this video, I am going to talk about certain properties of Crisp Sets. If you don't know what is Crisp Set, I have already made a video on introduction to Crisp Set. Please watch it first. Link is given in the description box. We will be talking about following different properties of Crisp Sets. That is involution, commutativity, associativity, and so on. Let us start discussing it one by one. Uh, before we proceed, uh, first uh, understand whatever sets we are going to use for the example. Uh, the universal set capital X contains elements 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Three crisp sets are derived from that. That is A is equal to 1, 2, 3, B is equal to 2, 3, 4 and C is equal to 5, 6. Involution says complement of A complement is always going to be a same set A. So if you find a complement for a given set A is equal to 1, 2, 3, that is nothing but it's a complement with respect to universal set. That is X minus A, that would be 4, 5, 6. If you find complement of this A complement again, then that would be 1, 2, 3, which is nothing but set itself and hence involution property is true. Commutativity, it says that A union B is equal to B union A. So it is something like a plus operator. A plus B is same as B plus A. To prove this, let us first find out A union B, which is 1, 2, 3, 4. And if we compute B union A, that is also going to be same. And this property is also hold for the intersection. That is A intersection B is equal to B intersection A. Uh, if we compute A intersection B, it is 2 comma 3. And uh, B intersection A is also 2 comma 3. Associativity, that is A union B union C is same as first you find A union B and take the union of that with set C. Let us first find out left hand side of this equation. A union B would be 1, 2, 3 and 4 and union of that with C will be 1, 2, 6. If you first find B union C then that would be 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 and union of that with set A would be same as LHS that is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So this property is hold. And uh, it is also true for the intersection also, that is A intersection B, intersection with C is the same as A intersection B intersection C. Uh, if we compute the intersection uh, on left hand side, then that will be null because A intersection B is 2, 3 and intersection of that with C will be null. And if we try to find out it for right hand side, then B intersection C is null. And if we take the intersection of that with A, then that is also null. Uh, set is also having property of distributivity. That is A union B intersection C is same as A union B intersection A union C. So let us first find out uh, A union B intersection C. So first we need to compute B intersection C, which is nothing but it's a phi. And when we take the union of that with set A, then we will get set A itself. Now to compute the right hand side of this uh, property, first we will compute A union B and A union C and intersection of that is 1, 2, 3. And hence we can see that this distributive property is also true. And uh, this is also true uh, for the other side, that is A intersection B union C is same as A intersection B union A intersection C. And this also we can prove with the help of example. So you can see that um, this is true for left hand side as well as it is same for right hand side. Absorption property. So A union A intersection B is always A. We know that A intersection B will be a smaller set or it is a collection of elements which are present in A and B both. That means that intersection will be always going to be subset of A and if we take a union of set with its subset then definitely we will get the set itself that is A union A intersection B will be definitely A. So A intersection B in our case is 2 comma 3 and if you find the union of that with A then we will end up with 1 2 3 which is nothing but it's a set A. A intersection A union B is equal to A. We know that A union B will be the super set of A because it contains all the elements of A plus additional elements from B. So when we take intersection of set with its super set, definitely we will end up with the set itself. In given case, A union B is 1, 2, 3, 4, which is super set of A. 
and when we take intersection of that with capital A, we will get the set A itself. Return pattern C or tautology. So A union A is definitely A and A intersection A is also A. Crisp set also holds the properties of identity that is A union X is always X. That is A is a subset, capital X is universe of discourse. Union of anything with respect to universe of discourse will be always universe itself. A intersection X is equal to X. Here A is subset and X is a bigger set. So when we take the intersection of these two sets, definitely we will get the small set, that is the subset capital A. A union phi is equal to capital A. When we take union of null set with any set, it will return set itself. And A intersection phi is equal to phi because phi has no elements and A is having certain elements and intersection will be again no element, that is null. Sets also follow the De Morgan's law that says A union B whole complement is same as A complement intersection B complement. So let us first compute A union B which is nothing but 1, 2, 3, 4 and complement of that is going to be 5, 6. Now to compute the right hand side first we will compute A complement, B complement and intersection of that is going to be 5, 6 which is nothing but A union B whole complement. The another De Morgan's law says that A intersection B whole complement is same as A complement union B complement. So let us first find out A intersection B which is 2 comma 3 and complement of that would be 1, 4, 5, 6. For right hand side, first we will compute A complement which is 4, 5, 6, B complement which is 1, 5, 6 and union of that would be 1, 4, 5, 6 which is same as LHS. Law of contradiction says A intersection A complement will be always 5 if it is a crisp set. By definition, uh, now we know that A complement contains all the elements which are not in A. So if we take intersection of A and A complement, definitely we will not find any common elements in them and hence their intersection is null. Uh, as you can see that A complement for given example is 4, 5, 6 whereas A is 1, 2, 3. So when we find the intersection of that, that will be definitely null. Law of excluded middle says a union, A complement is entire universe. That means A contains some element, A complement contains rest of other elements. So when we take the union, it will form the entire universe capital X. For given example, A complement is 4, 5, 6, A is 1, 2, 3. So when we take union of these two sets, it is capital X. That is nothing but it's a universe of discourse. That's it for today folks. See you in next video. If you think this video was useful to you, then please like, comment and share. Don't forget to subscribe the channel Codecrafts. Press the bell icon for the notification of latest videos. Stay connected, stay tuned. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.